Okay, so this is 2025 version of how to install Windows 11 into your MacBook computer that has an Apple chip. It could be any Apple chip, M1, M2, or M3, or M3 Pro, or whatever it could be. It is going to work, run smooth, and run this installation really easy into your MacBook computer. I'm doing this because many people had errors, and I'll prove you that this works. So let's go to Google and search for UTM download. It's just a simple program that you go here on this page and click on download. Don't download from App Store because it is paid, but here on the website is free. So here we have UTM DMG simple file. Just open it up and move it into your applications. Really easy, right? So I'm going to replace it because I already have it. Okay. Now it is installed. And if I open it, UTM verifying open. And here we go. Really easy and really straightforward. So next what we do is to go and install Windows 11. So go to gallery in the website, scroll down, you have many operating systems, but we are interested about Windows 11. Here we have Windows 11, it is a guide here. So click on the guide and we'll guide you on how to run and in this installation, you can read all this documentation here, but um, it's very straightforward and easy. So just go ahead and download this crystal fetch app where we're going to fetch a Windows ISO file that has an ARM version, not simple version, not like uh, architectures of Intel and usually that we download from the website of Windows. But this is an ARM is specifically for some CPU architectures like uh, Apple chip. And many people are asking, is it safe to download from this source? I might say that it is safe because in the end of the day, you are installing Windows in this virtual machine and doesn't impact your base operating system, which is your Apple. And then uh, what we do, we, you can download from GitHub really easy here, just directly download the DMG file here. And here we have crystal fetch, open it, double click, open. And here we have the application really easy one, just choose Windows 10 or Windows 11, we want Windows 11, make sure to choose Apple chip if you have an Apple chip and then your, your language and edition. Edition could be any, but uh, the basic version is really good. So then click on download, accept. This will start downloading is about four gigabytes. And after this is downloaded, it will show you an, an folder where you can click on move and you can move it into your downloads and then it is downloaded because too many people said that uh, after this is finished, it's not downloading. So that it is. So I'm stopping it and because I already have it on my downloads folder, and then what I need to do is to go to UTM and here we'll set up everything. So click on create a new virtual machine. Make sure to choose virtualize because if you choose emulate is different type of thing is not for Apple and will run really slow, but choose virtualize because that is for uh, ARM architecture, which we had, we have here Apple chip with M1 or M2 or M3. So I'll, I will prove you that I'm running on Apple uh, M1 chip. Here it is Apple M1 and here we go. Again, we have to choose Windows and install Windows 10 or higher, make sure to be checked and fetch latest Windows uh, installer, which we already did. And now we can click on browse and choose this ISO file or this uh, file that we have here. Okay, so then choose your ISO image here. I have it on my downloads and it's about four or five gigabytes and just open it. And then it is picked here. Then click on continue. The memory here, four gigabytes is good. It will work and you can just click continue. 64 gigabytes, I will choose only 30, might be okay. Continue here and when you share any directory with this uh, virtual machine, I'm not doing it. So I will just click continue and save, check your settings and save it really simple. So here it is very simple to create a virtual machine for Windows 11. And you can see here it, we have CD uh, DVD, which is picked here, the, uh, the ISO. And we have another CD and DVD, which is UTM guest tools latest. Make sure to have them like that because this UTM guest tools is for fixing the drivers and everything and errors and uh, resolution. And this ISO is for installation, for booting the installation. And then we just click on start or play button and then it will start this operating system. And it's very important here to click or press any key to continue. So press any key, then it won't, won't work. If you don't press any key, it won't work and would not open the boot uh, of, Insta of Windows 11. So here it will open this uh, 
loading state and boot into Windows and start the installation. So let's go through it step by step. Choose a language and time zone, click on next, keyboard, US. Okay, so it will show you product key and many people, uh, I don't understand why many people comment on my videos. Oh, it shows a product key. You can just read here, I don't have a product key. And you can just continue without a product key. So it's very, very simple. Uh, Windows 11 Home, next. Okay, so accept. It will scan for your disk. And we have the 30 gigabytes disk that we had just had before. And what we do, we just choose this one and click continue or next. Then it will show installing Windows 11. Okay, let's see if the installation will run smoothly till the end. Okay, so after some installations, running, rebooting and running some installations, we ended up again into this Windows 11 setup that we did before. And, and I'm going to tell you why. Because while installing uh, this virtual machine, uh, will restart many times. And it will boot again to the same ISO because here, if you remember that I explained you, we set the CD and DVD to be, to be this one. And every time it starts, it will boot in this uh, ISO setup and we'll run the setup installation for Windows 11. So what we have to do first, we have to shut down after the, all the installations are down, are done. So if you see the black screen installing that just like I showed you, it is good. And then just click on this power off. So I want to power off this virtual machine and then just click on OK. And it is all good. And then what you have to do here on this virtual machine, you have to go to the CD and you have to remove this one. We have to clear it. So just click on clear. And then we don't have any. We just have UTM guest tolls ISO. And then what we do is just click on play. And now that we have installed this Windows 11 and it will start to boot into that Windows 11 that we had before. And the installation is still running, as you can see because it hasn't finished yet, but we remove the ISO uh, file or the setup and now it will start to run smoothly and uh, hopefully it's going to work. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like it worked correctly. And now we can see that we have the setup of Windows, which is the language or the place uh, region. Then click on yes and the keyboard layout. Yes, want to add skip. I don't want to add. Is it restarting again? Okay, so it asks for uh, putting your name and add a password. So you yeah, have to put some questions here, but I'm going to just do random, random ones because it doesn't matter a lot. Okay, so now it is running some updates of Windows because it found out that we have some updates and it is downloading it. And after it is downloaded, we'll start the uh, Windows 11 operating system into your Mac. I'm going to wait for this to download and show you that this works. It actually works because it, you can see now that we are on Windows 11 and we are doing some updates, but I'll wait for this and show you, then I will skip it and show you the Windows 11 operating system running into my Mac Apple chip uh, M1. Okay, so finally we got Windows 11 after some updates and installation that I showed you. Here we finally have it and here is Windows 11. And then just put your password that you chose during the setup installation and it will open and work really smooth. As you can see, it's really fast and everything works well uh, because I, I uh, get too many questions. Does it work to run execution files, exe files, application that runs for Windows? Of course it does, but not uh, like very huge applications or softwares or games because too many people come here to install it for games. You cannot game in a virtual machine. So uh, this is this works well for Microsoft Office, for uh, any application that is not available on the Mac and it's available on Windows, you can do that. Or if you prefer Windows more, you can just stay with Windows and have both into your computer. Okay, so here we go. Finally, we have Windows. As soon as it starts, you will see this UTM guest tools, which is uh, this ISO that we have here. And it is really important to install this because it will fix the resolution and click on agree. Now it's installing and it will show you display output is not active. And this happens because uh, while installing the resolution driver and the display drivers, it will uh, shut down for a little bit the the display and then it will come back again. 
So what you have to do is to leave it like this for maybe some of the seconds or maybe one or two minutes. And then you have to restart your virtual machine because then it is all uh, installations done. So leave it like this for one or two minutes and we'll just click here on restart. Okay, so now I think the installation should be done inside. And what you have to do is to restart and just click on shut down and click on OK. And this will shut down this virtual machine. And then you just have to click on play again and we'll restart it. OK, so it's done. As you can see, it's much smoother now and just put the password because many people are complaining oh no this is showing display output not available or not uh, uh, showing the display but this is very very simple just to restart your virtual machine and it's all good so now if i go full screen you'll see that resolution is working well and i do have windows 11 here and here the menu and everything and if i go into internet will show you that also internet will work and I'll search on Google for something. Bing. Okay, here you go. It works well, just like it's, it is supposed to do. If I go to Google, search for top notch programmer. Okay, and also I just wanted to let you know that you can go to my website and uh, uh, take a look at the tutorials that we have here and any problem, any error, anything, it will be done and published here on my website about uh, any tutorial. So I'll also show you here that it is just about restarting the display output to fix it. So here is Windows and if you install any EXE, it will directly uh, download it for you. Okay guys, hope you like this video. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this and, and hit the like button just for support and uh, we'll see you in the other videos. Peace.